I'm Sam Adams. I'm the Koch Curatorial Fellow at De Cordova Sculpture Park and Museum in Lincoln. We are part of the trustees, the largest preservation and conservation organization in Massachusetts. I am standing in front of Rona Pondick's otter. <coughs> otter noise. Pondick combines in her sculpture humans and natural forms, most often of animals. Um, and she is interested in that um, artists have done this throughout history, from the Neolithic period to the present, from sphinxes to um, satyrs and mermaids and mermans, um, and uh, created these hybrids. All of the human body parts in Pondic's works are life casts of her own body. Um, in this case of Otter, the face and the hand, and they are done with excruciating detail, so you actually see veins in the hand, you see, um, you see eyelashes and um, pores in the skin, and um, so she takes a cast, which um, and she then scans to, to convert it into a digital 3D image and then um, prints at the size she wants. She does in a range of different sizes, combines it with highly stylized animal features or tree or shrub features, um, in this case an otter with this hilarious pointy tail and um, these shrugged shoulders and un uneven arms, creates another cast which she makes um, the final sculpture from. And um, so she is draining her own features of color. She's removing um, her head hair. And um, so actually she refers to these as bodies without life. And so um, friends of hers who actually see this don't even recognize her in it. In 2002, de Cordova organized an exhibition of Pondic's work. And um, at the time, I was a high schooler living in the area and working as a security guard at De Cordova on the weekends. And at this time that my body was going through puberty and from day to day changing in dramatic ways, not all of which I appreciated or not all of which happened at the rate and pace at which I maybe wanted, um, I loved seeing Pondic's work. It actually reminded me to have a sense of humor about our bodies and how they differ from one another. She uses these really dramatic dislocations of scale. Um, the fact that one hand is rendered as a human hand, the other is this um, extremely ab abstracted otter, almost claw, um, sort of raises questions for me um, still today about why one body type is considered ideal and another is deviates from that ideal, um, how maybe having a short arm is seen as undesirable and yet for an otter maybe it's actually this huge benefit that humans are missing out on. So um, this, these very surreal and humorous sculptures that also I think raise some deeper questions about um, humans and our relationships to our own bodies.